Oh, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. Break your nose, nigga. Break your nose. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to In The News. Live. News and commentary from around the world by your host, Holy Joe Rock and Roll. Yo, it's Holy Joe Rock and Roll. This is in the mother effing news. I just found out today that the Cruz campaign, yeah, Lion Ted Cruz campaign and the John Kasich campaign have teamed up to try to deny Donald Trump the 1237 delegates needed for him to win the nomination on the first ballot. Funny because Cruz was saying that Kasich should get out because he mathematically had no possibility of winning the nomination. The same thing applies now to Cruz who has no mathematical ability to win 1237 delegates. Now, Cruz has argued that Kasich should get out so that Cruz could go one-on-one -on -one with Trump. You mean like in New York, Cruz? Like in New York, when you got your ass pounded? Supposedly, the deal is something like this. Um, Kasich will not do any more events in Indiana, and Cruz will not fight Kasich in, I think it was New Mexico and Oregon, something like that. That seems to be sort of the arrangement so that they can try to uh, divide the vote. However, <clears throat> what's coming up tomorrow are the Northeastern states, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Maryland. Um, what am I missing out? Whatever. <laughs> and these will be more, more, more or less landslide victories for Donald Trump, Kasich coming in second place, and Cruz a distant third. Let me just um, run this scenario past you, all right? How is that supposed to work, Cruz and Kasich? You know, you, you've made the accusations or the assertions that Donald cannot beat Hillary Clinton in a national election. However, if you can't beat Donald in the Republican primaries, you have an even lesser chance. And they're talking about wanting a contested convention so that they could create a party unifying candidate. But if Donald is the one who's bringing in millions of new voters and bringing back millions of voters who have not voted recently, or maybe for a long time, because they've been so turned off by the political process and been so turned off by what the Republican Party has turned into. The Republican Party used to be the party of small government, and it used to be a minority party, and it used to be fighting waste, fraud, corruption. But after George W. Bush got into power, that all changed. It basically adopted the big government corrupt policies of the Democrats and lost its way. Trump is someone who's coming back, bringing the party back to its conservative roots. Whether he may or may not be a little bit more liberal on social issues, who the hell cares? Reagan was more liberal on social issues. He didn't really care about that. That was all about personal responsibility. Government should be leaving itself out of that. Trump is more worried about building that wall, making better trade deals, improving the economy, improving the middle class. And his message has resonated with the people, and that's why he's winning most of these primaries, why he's winning the majority of the delegates, with the voters, with the voter support, not with any kind of backroom shenanigans or deal making, just straight up, the people like him, they like what he's saying, they like what he plans to do. So I don't understand how challenging that, going against that, is going to help the Republican Party in the, at all, at, at, you know, now or later. Now think about this, ponder this for me if you would, Batman. Imagine if Romney, when he came out, 
recently came out of the closet, let's say, when he came out and blasted Donald Trump, which didn't really work. I mean, maybe in Utah it helped because he was Mormon and maybe he swayed some Mormon votes to go for Cruz. But that was very little, little impact. Imagine if Romney would have came out and said, while I don't agree with everything that Donald says, we really need to unify the party. And some of his key messages I can support. We need to secure the border. We need to deport illegal immigrants that are here illegally, specifically or immediately, those that are committing crimes or those that are criminal elements. Right? Imagine if he would have done something, kind of soften the message a little bit. Um, we need to improve our economy. And Donald Trump's ideas for bringing back business, uh, making better trade deals is a good one. You know, imagine if Romney would have came out like that, how the, the whole tone could have been different. But it's just this total anger, vitriol, ignorance, and name calling from the anti-Trump supporters that seems to be a real issue for them, for them, and that's like they have a problem. So this is really, you know, maybe it was to be expected, but it's, I don't see how that's gonna help Cruz or John Kasich. In fact, now it hurts Kasich. The, the point is, one live final point is that uh, Rubio, Marco Rubio actually has more delegates than John Kasich. So whatever chance Kasich had to be a VP, it's gone. Kasich, he basically, he lost everything. Now I could see, I could see, I could possibly see Donald going to Rubio saying, listen, give me your delegates, pledge your delegates to me, I'll make you my VP. What about that? Now you have the unified ticket. Donald Trump, the alpha male, the alpha dog, going out there, gonna make it happen, make America great again. And Rubio, the Hispanic future of the Republican Party, on a single ticket. And also, you know what, look, he's, work, he's a first-term senator, he has the experience in the Senate, and he could help Donald push through some of his policies. Now, obviously there are policy differences, right? Rubio was in favor of some kind of amnesty, but he's gonna to have to get over that and enforce the will of the people, which is enforce the laws and deport those that are here illegally. Come in legally or get the fudge out. All right, this has been Holy Joe Rock and Roll. That's my commentary on In the News and the latest bombshell that has dropped. Stay tuned for more updates and make it happen for the captain. You're the captain. We're watching In the News, a feature of HJRR TV and presented by the Reverend Dr. Holy Joe Rock and Roll. Please rate us, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to this channel for more in the news.